Hello, it's Sarah. I'm back. I'm sorry I took so long. Um, let's get started. I want to create these little faces and heads and get them connected to our art doll and then we'll be done. So basically we're going to create the hair today. That's it. And put the halos on. So you're going to just kind of create a halo from a pipe cleaner get it on there and then we're going to glue the felt on to cover it and you're good to go. So all I've done is selected my color. So for this little girl I'm putting black hair and I want to try something different. So I'm going to cut around this as best I can. I would mark it if, if you're using a lighter color go ahead and mark it but I, I'm just going to create uh, I want to make, I'm going to leave it hanging down in the back. And we're, I, I've never done that yet. I've just only ever made a circle and glued it to the back. But basically, let me hold it straight. So see what I'm saying? I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to cut little fringe in it, I think. But just for right now. And then I'm going to need a piece that goes around the edge. So I just need it to be, I guess, an eighth of an inch or a quarter inch wide. So you just wing it. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I, I mean, I'm going to do it probably to go from here to here. So I need it to be that long. So I'm just going to cut. I'm going to eyeball it. So I'm not going to measure. But do what you need to do to get yourself a piece of felt to cover the... Um, the edge of your of your wood. So let's see if this is going to fit. It's a little wide, so I can trim it. The other thing is, once it's glued, you can also trim like this. But I'll, I'll trim it, or I'll find a more narrow piece. Like you can see how this is kind of narrow, but it needs to go. I'm not gluing yet because we want to wait until I get the halo on. So we'll do that first. And then I'm going to go like this and glue that. And then I'm going to add a little bit more for the, like I'm not going to make bangs. I'm going to make it like parted in the middle. But I need another rounded part. So I'll probably just use, let's see, half a piece. We'll do this much. Just like a, I don't need a hole. And I'm just going to measure make a circle like this maybe till it reaches behind the ears so I'm just going to hold it in place in the back and then cut around this this will go on the front of her head it's a little wonky I'll, I could probably fix that just because it looks very not rounded very not rounded all right that's good and then, so see, that's going to go on the front, but I want it to be, I'm going to make two pieces that I'm going to glue. Let's start in the center. And you just play around with it till it looks like all the felt is getting. And I might make that thinner. Nope, it goes this way. I could still play around with it. And then this side, I'll make I'll make this one a little thinner. The static is not let me grip it or whatever it's repelling so something like that is going to be my front and I'll work with it and then the back is going to be see I like it like that more like spread out but I wanted it to look like it was going behind her ears just don't worry about it being perfect yet it's not going to be perfect and something like that so it'll all connect I think that'll look cute it's just, I don't know. You don't need to have this part. You just need a circle, okay? So on the other ones, here's how 
I just made a circle and covered up the back so they have short hair. I mean, you could put a bun or whatever, like if you think you're going to see it from other uh, sides. Let's see what I did with her. I gave her straight across bangs and made them kind of fringy. And again, just a circle and then connected the side to it. This one's just different. You know how I can never do things the same way twice. Okay, so let's put this aside for a sec and we'll work on the, um, let's see, do I want to, I think I'm going to use silver. For this specific angel, I have, I'm using these wings. And because of that iridescence, and especially on the other body I did, I used this iridescent fabric here, a couple things. So I was going to use this iridescent white. And I think I am for her. But on this one, I think I'm going to go with the silver. And I have gold. I have red, green, and gold. I think they were Christmas ones. So let's see. I don't remember how I did this. Basically, I want to make an oval. So let's make, and I, I want it to be about as wide. We'll use one of these, for example. I want it to be about as wide as her head. And I made it more of an oval shape than a circle. I mean, that's just my preference. You can make it a circle, and I kind of pinch it like that, and then it looks, you know, good. Um, you're going to connect it. Like, you can definitely see it better on this one. You're going to connect it, and then you're going to leave a piece, and we're going to glue and staple it to the back of our round. So, for her, let's see, I'm going to use the silver, and I'm just going to use my fingers and kind of create a loop. Let's make it a circle just for the beginning. But it's so cute. Maybe I'll leave it a circle too. And then I'm just going to fold. And you can use your, if you have tools like a plier or something, and it just makes it easier for you to grab or tweezers or anything, just do it and to the best you can wrap it around itself and kind of squeeze it tight. And then going to make it go straight down the back. And these heads are only about, see that looks a little big, but if I make it into an oval, it's a little big. I think it's cute though. Let me compare it to this one. See, it's definitely bigger, but I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it, and I'm going to cut this because it has to be glued to the back, so at least an inch of wire you need. Make sure. I want it to go right to the top. Oh, not that way. <laughs> Pointing forward. So basically, I could have probably left it a little longer. I might make another one since I'm not in love with the size or anything. But it sure looks cute. Yeah, I'm going to make it a little smaller. Might as well just do it with you. I have like six inches worth of, we're going to make a circle. Let me just see if it's the same. You really don't need pliers, just at the end you might just to squish it down so you don't poke yourself. And that's much smaller. Let's see if it if I like it. Oh, that's upside down. Okay. Again, the pliers just help you be able to hold it and maneuver it. It's just easier, and that is sticking straight up. Hard to see the wire with the glittery stuff. Okay, I like this one. It's got a piece of something hanging off it. It's like a piece of fabric. Oh, I got it, okay. So, I don't like that sticking up stuff. Um. Good. 
soften your edges a little see how I just softened that so it's more oval it's definitely smaller and which head was I gonna use this one that looks good so I'm gonna cut this a little longer like I'm gonna cut it right here and now I'm gonna grab my I only have I have two staplers I'll have to find my regular office one but this is my Tim Holtz I'm gonna just see if this one works but you want to open your stapler to where it's uh, able you're able to push into the thing so what you want to do I think I'm gonna put it on something uh, I have to raise it up a little bit because otherwise it'll be smushy wonder if that's going to be tall enough not exactly um, like a book or a box I'm just looking around my craft room real real quick to find something I should definitely have something guys sorry oh I have books I have a book I have a sketchbook so I'm gonna take this And I'm going to use, because I already put the eye pin in the bottom. And if you haven't, if you don't know how to do that, look back a video before this and you'll see. So I'm going to lay it down right here. And I'm going to lay down my little, nope, not that one. This one I just did. And I think I'm going to glue. Oh, it's a little too long. You don't want it to stick out the bottom. You want to it to hide behind the felt when we get it on here. So I'm just going to line that up with this. Let me come down so you can see. So here's that little where I'm connecting the neck. And because it's wire, we should be able to adjust it. I'm just going to use this gel glue real quick and just make a line from the top to the there. And then just set it on there. You can just use glue, I'm sure. So if this doesn't work out, because I haven't done it in forever and I forget what I did, um, just use glue and give it a chance to dry. But I am going to take, oh, this is not going to work. I'm going to go get my, um, the standard stapler that I have in the other room. I'll be right back. All right, so you open it up in half like this. It's a regular stapler. And I'm just going to put it over the wire and push so I got it it didn't really go it bent because this wood is different than the other wood so we don't really need to do this let me see I want to see something because I know that it's going to go in the um shoot I should have thought of that first but anyway I'm just going to take my staple remover take it out and try it one more time it might work if I just like do it a little harder you know and the glue is just there to hold it in place right now but I think if I do it nope see how it, I mean it's in it's not really like up against it though it's sticking out let's see how this one looks See, they're kind of, see, I used my little stapler for that. I don't think we really need it. I think once the glue from everything, it's going to be fine. So I'm not worried about that. But I did do it on the other ones. Sorry about that. I don't really, I need to practice before I go. But anyway, she's got her halo on. And I'm going to squish it around a little bit later. But first, let's put, I want to put... The hair. Let's move this. Uh, I don't know if I need it this long. I didn't like the shape of the top. I hope it fits still. Oh, I kind of screwed it up. I went I went away from the edge too much. I 
I don't think I want to use it. And then when you do this, you got to go under the halo a little. And I'm going to actually make it like this so that the hair goes like that on the side. I haven't done that before, so it's just something new for me to play around with. I'm going to cut a little bit more of the felt, though, just because, but I did mess up. Let me do it with a different, um, dang it, I'll use this one because this is the same. So basically, I used this type of wood on this one. It was like pre-cut. And on these, I cut my own. You can tell how wonky it is, and I sanded it weird. This one's actually two discs glued together. So, um, but anyway, I'll use this one since it's the same size as that, and just cut. Just give myself plenty of room. And then, this is it. This is the one I'm gonna use. So I'm making sure I want these both to be straight down. I think I'm gonna glue, I'm just gonna glue. I'm gonna glue this on to the back of here. Just gonna use this. Uh, this is the Aileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue and I'm, I'm liking it. Uh, I used to use um, Fabri-Tac gel which I loved but this is doing it this is good I'm gonna put it all the way up to the edge to like try to just swirl it you don't want it too thick but you just want it good coverage and then just place this on there oh, that's not the one from the front I gotta look and make sure that she it's straight it's a little bit off. Let's see. This way. And just give it a press. And then I'm going to just trim this a tiny bit. Let's see if I can first make it the right length. I can always trim the bottom after actually. So I'll just go with like right here. And let's just make this a smidge thinner. That's a very technical measurement, a smidge. I can, I can eyeball it, so I see that it's a little short, narrower here. It sure is harder to do when it's a small piece. Well, that got a little destroyed but that's okay this could actually be thinner toward the edge so I'll do that because it's gonna dangle down all right so we want to put this <clears throat> on the edge mm, I might need to trim it a little more and I'm just going to put the glue to like where the bottom of her ear would be and leave the rest like dangling free. I was thinking of making braids too. Like it could be really fun. You could use, you could use um, like twine or raffia or whatever, yarn uh, and just, dang it, this is hard to do. I could, do, mm, it's just hard because I can't get my fingers out of the way I'm doing I gotta do it like this all right so let's put I'm gonna put the glue from like where the bottom of her ear would go definitely up here and down here to like where the bottom of the ear would go Can you see that? You can see the gel. This one went down a little further, but it'll squoosh. All right, let's go with 
here. Lay it down. Wiggle it to the back. And then if you have, like, I like to use stuff to push things with. This is good. Tweezers or something. Put it right there. Well, I don't want to get glue on her face. Although, I did varnish it, so it should be fine. So there you go. That part is done. Just push it back toward the, see like there's a gap there. So I want to push it over toward to fill that gap. You don't want to see any wood behind it. See, so actually that's going to be perfect because it, I thought it was going to be coming, um, I'd have to trim it more, but this is good. And then I'm going to trim right here. So it's the same length. And then I'm going to make little cuts. I'm getting glue on her face. I'll trim that, but I'm going to make little cuts like this. Maybe it would be better if I glued it a little further down too. I gotta get a butt wipe and just wipe her face a little bit because I got glue on it. Yeah, but that gel glue is working great. I'm gonna put a little bit more. I just want this to hold closer to I just like it. I want it to kind of go down like that. This side had it, but I didn't have it. Down. All right. And then we're going to put this little part. And this just takes a second. Keep adjusting it until you feel like it's where you want it. If I don't want to cover too much eyebrow, I think I might make the oopsie. See, look, I still see gaps. Oh, you know what? Using a Sharpie or something could work. Actually, depending on what color hair you're doing, you could color it too, so that it do, you don't have any like color shine through. You know what I'm saying? Um, I haven't. I haven't noticed any. It, once it dries, it's pretty good. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I think I want to make this narrower. And then this one, I can overlap. I think that's going to look good. I might make it go down further, actually. I like that. I'm gluing. I'm going to glue. I'll use my tweezers. It's just easier to get it in place. Oh, geez. Now I just lost the other piece. Oh, right here. My goodness. Okay. See, look, it sticks to you. All right. So I'm going to put... I'm just sorry. Sorry about my head. I should probably put the glue on here. Let's see if I want to do that. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the glue on the felt instead of uh, the other way around. I'm just trying it. Oopsie. That has a goober on it. Got to get the goober off. Doing it one-handed is pretty interesting. All right, that should be great. I'm so excited. Trying to just put it in the, start it in the middle. And push it, I'm pushing it back towards so that it can connect with the other felt. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. We're almost done. We're in the home stretch. Let me make sure it looks... It looks a little bumpy. Is this the piece? Dang it. I think it is. I could always make another one. Let me just try another one.
I think I'm going to glue this one. I like it. And I'm going to do it with, like, again, I'm going to do the back. It's just easier than, like, because I know where the, where it's going. I'll use a Q-tip after. But again, just making sure that I can get like a connection, not, I don't want it to be a gap. Oh geez, I got glue all over the place here. It's just, oh my God, it's done, it's done. All right, so the other thing you can do with when you're doing hair like that is you can actually cut like a little off to make it like really look like gappy like that. I like that. Get off me glue. Anyway, I'll do one on this one. Alexa, turn on the craft fan. It is 60 degrees in, uh, 62 in uh, Mays Landing, New Jersey, and um, I get warm. <laughs> I'm enjoying winter, to be honest with you. I am enjoying it because my I don't have to have a ponytail in constantly because I'm so freaking hot. Um, anywho, let me grab a Q-tip. And I'm just going to dip it in water instead of spitting. I always spit, but I'm just going to wipe along the edge here to get the glue. I don't want to glue those little fibers on her face. I spit anyway. So just wipe off anything because just in case you got glue there. And I'm going to let it dry because then, then I'll fudge around with it. So I'll be back in a little bit to attach her head. I'm going to, it'll be the same video, but I want to attach that to the body. And then we're going to attach the wings as well. I don't know if I like the long hair, but guess what? I can always trim it. Um, you know, and it's just something different I decided to do. But her wings are going to look so cute, too. I can actually, no, I'm going to wait. I'll do them last. Just because to save me any issue with um, holding it and connecting it. Let me go back up. But I also have, I did find these charms. I have these, uh, they're from Hobby Lobby. They have words on them like believe, create, joy, hope, laugh, imagine. And I think I'm going to open these up and see if they're, I might hook a couple on. I also was thinking about doing a necklace, remember? So I might find a piece of lace or something, but because that hair is there, um, I was just going to do a piece of ribbon that I could just use as a collar maybe a piece of, I don't know if I'm gonna do it on her but I'll, I might do it uh, on another one so I'll be right back while that one was drying I figured I'd do the other one and I wanted to sh see if the staple thing worked better because this is um definitely just pine where I'm not sure what the other type of what this wood is it's a lot more like I can't explain it anyway let's just try it with the regular staple and see that went in much better much better see because the um yeah i was right well, on pine it works just fine pine is fine keep it in mind okay so i want to show you the hairdo i gave her i'm just gonna stick with the long hair for a second but if it's not good i'm gonna um I'll trim it and I'm gonna put this on first I'm gonna put this part on first just because uh, I don't know why I decided to all right so I want to center it
just feel like I'll be able to fill the, fill the gaps easier this way. All right, I'll use, probably still need the, then I have this long hair, and I'm going to put this on. And stop squeezing, and I'm just spreading kind of now. Oopsie. These pipe cleaners are much fluffier than the silver and gold and all the other, like the metallic ones. But I thought it would be cute, so I did it. But they're just like thicker and fluffier, so. Make sure it's straight. Yeah, I cut that a little thicker this time, too, just because... I wanted to make sure that it uh, covered the gaps, you know. So I'm pressing at the edges the most, and it's coming through. I did put quite a bit of glue. And then I gave her kind of like bangs. She had a big forehead. <laughs> Let me come in. Sorry, I know you can't see as well. And I think I'll do the same thing I did with the tweezers, wherever they are, right here. Let me see up this side. Yeah. And I'm going to put the glue on the felt instead of on the wood. Don't know why. It's just... And I'm really just putting it at the top, not really on the fringy part because I cut the fringe. So hopefully that'll move. I'll bend it and play with it a little bit. And, you know, I actually can cut this. Like, I, if I don't like it, I can cut it short, so... That's why I figured I'd just go long and see how it looks, and then we'll decide. So she's got bangs. Kind of crooked, but it's all right. I like taking the little notches out of it because then it makes it look kind of not perfect and you can see each front like I took a notch there and a notch there and then there's like a couple different size ones so anyway I gotta let that dry so while I let her dry I might need a little more here um, we can connect this one she's she's dry enough to her body and I'm going to use a um, jump ring, a jump ring. I think I want to use the four millimeter because I just don't want there to be an extra, any extra room. I want it to be as close to the body as possible. So I'm going to use the four millimeter this time. I used the five millimeter on the, um, to connect the arms and legs to the body. I don't know, just, and we'll see because, because it's smaller, it's going to be a little more, fudgy you know like it's a smaller ring I'll show you what I mean I just need and now a jump ring is a split ring or I guess they call it a split ring too you're gonna need two pliers so basically I'm finding the split and my other pair of pliers are right here I'll come in a little bit more up and try to show you It's really hard to film, but there is a split right at the top there, and I'm going to, I'm not pulling apart, you twist. So I'm just going to twist that open. Now it's open. I'm going to take the body, put it through the body, and then I'm going to take the head. Uh, oh boy, did I mess up? I think I did. I messed up, you guys, because you know why? <sighs> How am I going to fix this? I'll tell you why. Okay. So here's what I messed up with. And you might, if you already did this part. So on the head, we have a circle. And on the thing, we have a circle. And we're going to connect those. But it has to be circle, circle, circle. This one's going to be going vertically. Let me come out. 
So I have two like the head and the body are like this and then this one needs to be going up and down like that. But I did the body facing forward and the head facing this way. Actually, I think that's what I intended to do. Ooh, wait a minute. <laughs> because instead of using a jump ring, I'm just going to connect the two. <gasps> that's what I'm going to do because these open too. So let me find where this opens. And again, you don't want to pull it apart. You just want to twist it. Mine opens in the back. So I opened it. <laughs> it's got, wait, let me just, I'm so sorry. This video has been all over the place, but you know, that's real time, baby. What can I tell you? So open it. I twisted it open and I'm going to hook it onto here and then twist it back closed. And nope, she doesn't want to be the exorcist. She doesn't, yeah, she has to face forward. <laughs> So she's backwards right now. So let's do it the front way. So I'm going to go this way. And then I'm just going to twist this closed. And it's just definitely hard to see on camera, but do it. Just do it. Don't be afraid. It's okay. And twist it back closed. And there it is. That's how you make the head as close to the body as you can. Because adding a jump ring is going to make it even further apart. Do you see what I'm saying? All right, and then we're going to add our wings. And she's going to be done. I could put a little collar on her, but I think I'm just going to stick with... All right, now there's two things. You could do the wings facing up or down. I think you could do them either way. I think I want to do them facing up. So let's turn her over. Lay her down. And right about there. And you know, you could put a butterfly here, um, a button. I think a button would look really cute. So I'm going to go through, or a flower. You know, like, look, look at that. Why not put that? That's amazing. Let's see if it would go on here. Oh, wait, where's my other one? I just put the head on the wrong body, too. All right. I'll be back. That's better. <laughs> I'm super out of practice, guys. I am just a mess. So anyway, this is where she belongs. We will put her wings on and get this done. So let's put this right here. Let me just hold it. Yeah, I think I'm going to put the tops of the wings. I know right where to put it and just center it. So I'm going to use this glue. Mm, yeah, I'm going to go all the way over to the side. I don't want it to come off. And I just want it to be... This edge is going to be like a quarter inch from top so I put the glue a little high and again I'm centering it let me grab a q-tip and then I was thinking I could put this little piece of black lace right there you could put a button you could put uh, a piece of bling just a big bling um, I'm looking through. I could. I really wanted to use this. I might put this in her hair, actually. I can still decorate her hair. I forgot about that. Um, I have all types of different... Uh, here's a black bow. That would look super cute, too. I mean, just to give it a little extra, right? That's adorable. I think I'm, gonna, I'm leaning toward this because I did give her... Um, a lot of lace in the front and I used the black bow already so I'm, I'm gonna go with this so again I'm just gonna center everything it takes a second to set up so just make sure you're not rushing in on video like me and I'm setting it this way 
And my head's probably in the way. Whatever. I'm just making sure they stay straight. The other thing I forgot to do, but I want to do it now, is put a hole on the top of her head to make the hanger. So you would do the same thing. I use those little Tim Holtz. Really, it's like a literal screw, and you can screw it in there. I have to find them, but I have them in my stash somewhere. But you could also just use um, a piece of wire or whatever, but make the hole first with your awl or whatever. However, the same way we did it... Um, to make the arms and legs and stuff. So yeah, so that looks straight, see? Pretty straight, straight. And just let's have a look from the front. We have to have a look from the front. What do you think? I think she's super cute. I like the hair. I think I'm gonna keep it. And I just got to let this set and let those wings set up. And I'll do the other one. I might add some charms to her hands and feet. But I want to make sure I don't play with that too much. I got to get it where I want it. And let it dry. And then, oh my gosh, can you believe I put the wrong head on? Of course, of course you can. Because that's how I roll. Um, she's not quite dry yet. But that's it, you guys, all right? I hope you finish yours. I took too long to come back. I apologize. Um, but I'm living my life, kids. I'm having fun. I opened that already to put it on. And I don't know if I love that color here, but I used it on her, and it is what it is. Let's, where's her wings? Gotta put this here. Like that. I might cut it shorter, but we'll see. That's it. Thanks for watching.